Well, hey everybody, I'm Aaron with Oliver Travel Trailers. And on this beautiful morning, we showed up a little bit early to Oliver Travel Trailers Sales and Service Center to cook breakfast. On this episode of Trailside Bites, we're gonna be making some delicious breakfast burritos. We're gonna share them with the staff of Oliver Travel Trailers and then anybody else who's staying in the beautiful Oliver Travel Trailers campground. So guys, come on. I wanna share this recipe with you and maybe you can add it to your menu when you're on the road. With simple ingredients and a little bit of prep work, this breakfast burrito recipe will be one that you'll want to keep around for a while. First, we're gonna dice up the onions and then start browning our meat in a separate skillet. As I've browned this meat and diced this onion, we're about to cook some hash browns that'll add a little bit of crispy texture to our breakfast burritos. So, guys, this recipe is super simple. Um, you can add or change any ingredients you want. The important part with this, uh, this ground meat is that we cook it all the way through. And then once we cook it all the way through, we'll pull it off, put it on the side, um, and we'll start to cook our eggs. But in the meantime, let's pull our pan onto the other burner and uh, pull our onions with some olive oil and start uh, cooking our onions and prepare to cook our hash browns. While cooking these breakfast burritos, the smell was incredible. It's something that'll make even the sleepiest campers get out of bed to enjoy. If you like the videos that you see here at Oliver Travel Trailers, don't forget to like and subscribe the video for more content just like this. And comment with your favorite camping food to cook is while you're out on the road. All right, so now we're gonna add some frozen hash browns to our uh, sauteed onions. The important thing to remember here is that you have enough oil in the pan that your potatoes won't stick and they'll be able to get crispy. We want to have a little bit of crunch to our potatoes when they're cooked. So I'm going to add roughly two cups since we're serving a large crowd of people today. Uh, that should be enough. So Now this recipe can be changed and altered to fit you or whoever you're traveling with. Let's scramble up some eggs. The number of eggs that you decide to cook all depends on how many people you're serving. All right, so as you can see, these potatoes are now cooked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the heat down to low. We're gonna let them sit, let them keep warm. Keep cooking just a tiny little bit. And I'm actually gonna add some uh, green chilies in here as well. So now we're gonna scramble our eggs for our breakfast burrito. And this recipe is a little bit different. Um, we're gonna add a little bit of zest and add some taco seasoning to it. Uh, I recommend probably about a tablespoon. So um, we're not getting a whole bunch of taco seasoning flavor, but just enough. All right, now let's cook these eggs. Since we are cooking for a large group of people, um, I wanted to make sure that there's more than enough for everybody so everybody can have breakfast. Start with a little bit of hash brown, a little bit of turkey, some eggs, pinch of cheese to make everything stick together. And then just a little garnish of cilantro right on top. And then wrap them in tin foil to make sure they stay nice and warm. There's one. Let's make a bunch more. This recipe was super easy and makes it very, very easy to share with those around you.
So now that I have all the burritos assembled, I wrapped them in tin foil, and I'm gonna put them in this pan with a lid, turn the heat on very, very low so that all the cheese melts and the flavor combines and they're warm. That way I can give them to people and uh, they'll be nice and fresh. So let's finish up here and then we'll uh, start handing some burritos out. Thank you, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this episode of Trailside Bites. Stay tuned for more episodes in the series. And if you like what you see here at Oliver Travel Trailers, don't forget to like and subscribe below for more content. Another way you can stay connected with us here at Oliver is following us on social media at Oliver Travel Trailers. You can find us on Facebook and at Instagram, posting a lot of really, really interesting content to uh, help you guys get into the outdoors. So until next time, We'll see you guys later.